morning. As we are talking about the big story that's actually happening tomorrow. Oh yeah, Michigan's largest bridge is going to be undergoing a major overhaul and it's going to take a couple of years yeah. before it's all said and done. We're talking about I-75 and the Rouge River Bridge. Our Kim DiGiulio joins us now live from the freeway to explain what drivers need to prepare for. Good morning, Kim. <laughs> Good morning. I'm going to say this with a smile so at least we can pretend that we're happy this morning because it is the last day drivers are going to be able to be where I'm standing right now. This is at the start of the closure, which is Spring Wells. Again, this is a two year project. It kicks off tomorrow. Here's a closer look at what to expect. Early Saturday morning, southbound I-75 will close between Spring Wells in Detroit to North Line in Taylor. This stretch is expected to remain closed until October, causing many headaches for the people who take this route on a regular basis. In two years, how, I mean, people are going to get used to it, but the, if it's only a one or two detours, it's still going to be pretty trafficy. MDOT is suggesting a detour that is I-96 westbound to southbound I-275. This current project will only close the southbound side of the freeway. While we're going to close the southbound and detour the traffic, northbound will always be open. This stretch of I-75 is traveled by an estimated 37 million vehicles each year. And even though it will take a very long time, the repairs are certainly needed and will last a long time. We feel very comfortable and confident that the replacing of the concrete will keep this bridge in good working shape for many decades. Okay, so again, that closure starts at Springwells. However, from I-96 to Springwells, travel will be reduced to only one lane. And yes, MDOT does suggest that detour, which is 96 to I-275, but that will add about 30 miles to your commute. So some other suggested detours, let's pull up the map here, would be using I-94 to Telegraph. You could also use Fort Street, Jefferson, Dix Highway, or you could also take I-96 to Southfield or Telegraph. So there are plenty of options, but again, this is definitely going to slow you down. And for those of you who don't take I-75, that you don't think this is going to affect you, it definitely will. Those of you who take I-275 or other things like 94, Telegraph, people are going to be using those routes. So come Monday morning, expect it to be a little bit more congested than normally. But again, remember, Monday morning when you go to drive, normally on southbound I-75, it is not going to be open, closed from Spring Wells to North Line. Reporting out here live, I'm Kim DeGiulio, Local 4. Back to you. Alrighty, we'll definitely be watching this one. Kim, thank you.